What's up, folks? This is your boy, Darko. It's Kendall's and Kicks. Skip the intro. We're going to get right into it. I know it's been a minute since your boy made a video, but I had to post something talking about the new Amazon Kindle Color Soft. One of the most eagerly awaited, highly anticipated e-reading devices in a very long time. All right, so I've had it since launch day, so I've been using it for about a week and a half, and I'm gonna get into what my feelings are about it and what my experience has been like so far, the good, the bad, and the super ugly, okay? First and foremost, we're gonna start with the super ugly. And anyone who's been keeping up with the color soft knows about the yellow line of death. All right, it's a slight yellow discoloration that is showing up on all the color soft screens, at least the majority of them. And odds are, even if you don't see it on yours, there's a good chance you have it, but maybe just haven't noticed it because plenty of people have posted their screens on Reddit claiming they didn't have the yellow line of death and other Redditors pointed it out clear as day. So this has been a huge blunder on Kindle's or on Amazon's part. Now mine, I got one of the better screens. Yes, there is yellowing at the bottom, but it's not as bad as a lot of others I've seen. So I'm thankful for that, especially being an early adopter. Amazon is claiming that this can be fixed with the software update. However, if it cannot, and they want to send our brother a brand new ColorSoft device with a better screen, I am all for it. Do your thing, Amazon. Whatever you got to do, fix this issue because too many people are dealing with it. And this is unacceptable from a company like Amazon, okay, who is already late to the E color E in game anyway. I mean, I know Apple does this, they wait a while, and even though Samsung may have already done something, but usually when Apple releases it, it's pretty good and sometimes even perfect. Amazon, not so much. But in any case, hopefully it gets fixed and everybody who purchased the color soft will be happy. Let's get into the bad or kind of bad. The freaking material of the color soft okay so the color soft unlike the kindle scribe and kindle oasis which are also considered premium e-reading devices the color soft has a plastic back as opposed to an aluminum back and while i understand this makes for a better and more comfortable grip I really prefer the aluminum back because it makes a device look more premium. This is $300 people, or at least almost $300 with tax. And that is a lot of money for a device totally dedicated to e-reading and nothing else. So come on, Amazon. I think you could have done a bit better with the material that this device is made of. Another pet peeve is this thing seems to really attract fingerprints, even worse than the, both the Oasis and the Scribe. And other people have said they haven't had this issue. Could be just me. Look, I'm a brother. Black people, we moisturize, okay? The hands stay lotioned. So it could be very well that the lotion from my hands are transferring to the device, which is causing all the fingerprints. And I'm willing to accept that. But... I'm not gonna walk around ashy. So Amazon, that's why you also should have had aluminum back because the scribe and Oasis fingerprints do not show up like they do on this device, all right? Now, that's out the way. Let's get into the good. What I really like about this device. First, I really enjoy seeing my book covers in color. When I scroll through my library, I think it really enhances the whole Kindle experience. Now, I'm not new to this. Before Kindle, I used iPads and iPad minis as my dedicated e-reading devices. It wasn't until the Kindle Oasis that I re-entered the Kindle space because I had 
uh, an original Kindle like 15 years ago that broke and I didn't really buy any more Kindles instead of the Oasis, which really appealed to me and which has been probably one of my favorite e-reading devices ever. In any case, not new to color covers. However, what's different about the Color Soft is all in the name. The colors are soft. They're much more muted, much more pastel. Some may not find this appealing, some will. I personally find it appealing. I like the softer colors. It's much easier on the eyes. If I want a more vibrant and saturated image, I'll go read on my iPad, which is typically great, I think, for comic books. And I'm still going to use my iPad if I want to read comic books or graphic novels, not only because the colors pop more, but because the iPad, not the iPad mini, but definitely the iPad, iPad Air, iPod Pro, iPad Pro have larger screens, which provide a better reader experience for comic books and graphic novels. However, for the color book covers, the occasional graphic in a book you're reading, I think the color soft is more than great. Another feature I like, I like that you can highlight in color now and you can select different colors. So you can color code and categorize. For example, right now I'm reading Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson to kind of reread all the books before Wind in Truth. That's highly unlikely to happen, but I'm gonna try my best. In any case, hey, my boy Dalinar, in his sections, I might wanna highlight in blue. My girl Shalan, in her sections, I might wanna highlight in pink because I am a big highlighter, particularly when it's passages I wanna notate or passages I just wanna remember because they're very, very poignant and they really speak to me. So adding the ability to color code passages has really made it an enjoyable experience even more than before. Like it's nothing new about highlighting on e-readers, but if you can improve upon something that's already great, hey, I'm all for it. And to me, Amazon did that here. The funny thing is the highlighting is much better on the inverted screen. So the color soft doesn't have a dark mode, but you can invert the pages, the page colors to make it white text on a black screen. And I love the way the high, the color highlights look on the black screen. And it actually makes me read more on the inverted screen than the page, page screen because I like the way the highlighted colors look. So yeah, love that feature. The final thing I like and probably my favorite and only because it's, it's a very novel experience right now, I enjoy having my color book cover on the lock screen when I sit my Kindle down somewhere. Like it, to me, it gives it a more authentic feel, like having an actual book sitting on your table or your desk or wherever you sit your Kindle. Like. It was already awesome when they added the feature to see the book you're currently reading on the lock screen, but now it's in color. So it's almost like having a real book, but not, you know, it's not as heavy. You don't have to flip pages, physical pages. And sometimes I just like to look over on my desk or table just to see the color cover on the screen, even though I don't plan to pick it up. That's my favorite feature so far. The reading experience is similar to any other Kindle in my opinion. Some people say you might see like a screen effect, screen door effect. That really hasn't been my experience. Yes, the text is not quite as crisp as a Kindle Paperwhite signature or the scribe, but it's not noticeable unless you're doing a side-by-side -side comparison. If you're just reading on the Kindle Color Soft, the text is just as great as reading on any other Kindle device, especially if, like me, you've read on LCD screens like the iPad, you know, the Kindle is definitely much easier on the eyes, the text at least. So overall, I'm really enjoying the device. The yellow discoloration does not bother me. I wouldn't even have noticed it if I didn't see all these people talking about it on YouTube and Reddit and Facebook and Twitter and blah, 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 blah. But for those of those of you who have a color soft and are severely affected by the discoloring, I really hope Amazon fixes it or at least replaces your device because that is just terrible for something this expensive from a company that big.
Okay. Now, that was my quick rundown with my experience over the last week and a half to two weeks. Um, I will continue to use it. Hopefully, there will be no more issues with the color solve and, and Amazon will get this fixed. And all of us who have bought it can go on with our lives and be happy with our color solves. This is Darko, Kindles and Kicks. You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Peace. Hello. This is Kayla.